I don't know if you guys are ready for this. I don't know if I'm ready for this. I am going to go into my fully clean, organized, pretty, decorated beauty room. Guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, then welcome. If you follow me on Instagram, which if you don't, you totally should. Seattle MUA Renee. And this is going to be a updated beauty room tour that is actually filmed the correct way. If you guys remember my first video I did similar to this, except for it was in a little square, like that big. So now that I know kind of what I'm doing, we're gonna have take two, y'all. Yo, because the next one after this will be the giveaway. And you don't wanna miss that. I mean, I wouldn't wanna miss it if I were you. So you guys, let's get cracking. So I'm gonna start with my shelves. Oh, if you're wondering, I did go to IMATS a few years ago. Maybe, I if it says the date. Um, I don't see a date, but it was maybe three years ago in uh, Sacramento, and that's where I keep all my packaging. Well, that's a lie. That's not all my packaging. I have a whole box in the garage, but I just keep that one there. So, these are just some palettes that are overflow from the palettes in my vanity. And so, and the roses, you guys, don't worry. I usually have the tops on them, but I purely just took them off for this video so they look all pretty and shit. Here I have some lip liners. Here I have all of my Huda Beauty matte liquid lipsticks and I also have the lip strobes in the back. Just FYI, her formula of liquid lipsticks is actually my favorite out of all that I own. I actually like the uh, Kylie Cosmetics Velvet formula as well too. So let's Let's move along a little faster. Otherwise, we're going to be here all night. I mean, I'm going to be here all night because I live here. But you guys don't need to be. So, I mean, I feel like I had to have a tumbler from Starbucks in here because, you know, I'm from Seattle. So, I mean, what, what would I be if I didn't have something from Starbucks? Don't worry, I have Seahawks stuff in here too. Here we have ColourPop and then some minis. And then in here I have all of my MAC glosses. Some are limited edition, some are just regular. And then on top I have perfumes. Um, as far as where stuff came from, I can try my best to write where everything is in the description box. Um, I can tell you that containers like these, like this is a lips, I, I believe it's the lip gloss organizer and that's from Allegory. And this is the same one, I just, that one just has actual lipsticks instead of glosses. So this one I believe I got at um, Home Goods. This I believe my mom purchased for me and I don't exactly know where it's from but chances are most likely Amazon. 
And then moving up here, I really can't stand this, but it was all I could find last minute to store more lip pencils. Some fancy schmancy candles. This mirror, just so cute. It was sent to me from Benefit as PR. Then I just have some more perfumes. Tried to keep this like a Victoria's Secret little shrine. This is a palette organizer that was made for me from For Her Vanity. And you guys definitely check her Instagram page out because she does so many. Not only does she do organizers, but she also does so many cute decor for your beauty room. Definitely check her out. She's so sweet too. This is just overflow of foundations in some kind of little, I think this is a jewelry bin. I'm not quite sure, but I'm just improvising here at sometimes. Those were all PR boxes that were sent to me from Benefit and Urban Decay that I just held on to because they make me appreciate all the hard work that I have put in throughout the years. And so it's just a nice reminder to remind me that, you know, all this work has gone somewhere and I am just so appreciative of companies that have supported me and sent me products. I just, it's been a ride, y'all. Up there in the bathroom is Seahawks Ave, just in case you need to go to the bathroom, that's, that's where that is. And this I've showed on my Instagram recently, a nice, signed Seahawks ball and then I got some shoes and a few of my fancy purses and then I loved that I just had to hang that benefit made that for me when they came out with that gold rush blush and I just love it and then we have a window that you can purchase at um, probably like Home Depot or Lowe's if you're interested and some really crappy blinds. Don't recommend those by the way. And then here is just kind of some random stuff and uh, I'm a hoop girl and so these are just, <laughs> I just have them in here just hanging out. Got some fancy lipsticks and stuff in here. This I know I ordered off Etsy and so I just have my Victoria's Secret items in here. I just got the Sunset Collection set from Anastasia. So this actually lights up. I have a picture of it on my Instagram, but I don't have an outlet close right there. So yeah. Anyways, uh, Anastasia and Buxom glosses. And then more lipsticks. Boxes. A mirror that I don't use because I actually get ready sitting on top of the bathroom counter with my feet in the sink that's that's just how I do over here just some random stuff that won't fit anywhere my tripod and a lens to remind me that I do actually own a camera but I continue to use my iPhone my ring light, I won't blind you, but just so you guys know, it is the Diva ring light. I purchased it off Amazon and I've had it a few years. I've never had to replace the bulbs. I've moved a few times, 
and nothing has happened to it, knock on wood, like seriously, I'm just, I love it. So the other day I put a poll up about where in the world I should put those Chanel signs. And that is where they are going for now. You guys, sorry about the ring light. I do truly apologize for that. So let it, let's get into lipsticks. More lipsticks, just I'm a lipstick whore. So I have all of my MAC collection in here and these are from fairy girl they're so cute also a smaller indie brand on instagram definitely check them out they're so sweet more mac because just i'm um, just a mac addict mac attack so as you can see this one is from zara beauty and then this one is from Sunny Cosmetics. I love the fact, well, so I love the rhinestone design on this one, but I love this one because obviously it holds more and I like how it has the top compartment as well for, and it just worked perfectly in this situation, scenario for these matte MAC lipsticks. So that way I could kind of, for the most part, have all my MAC lipsticks in one place. I'm gonna take a quick break. You guys won't notice, but I'll be back. Moving on. Oh, by the way, I do have a sneak peek of the giveaway items on my Instagram, but the this bin, I'm gonna have to pull this out and say this bin is all for the giveaway. This bin is not. Don't get it twisted. This is my MAC limited edition collection. I'm not sure how many of you guys remember, but during my last move, which was almost two years ago now. Wow. Uh, I had my collection in a bin just like this and it was the last thing that I left at my old apartment and I was the only one besides the office that had keys because I had the locks changed when my ex moved out. I went back to get it and it was gone. So Common sense tells me that someone from the community stole it, but you know, they're just one of those shitty situations where there's nothing I can really do. I can't prove it, so I just had to move on and start over, and so that's where I'm at right now. Oh, and by the way, this pink satin I just placed there because I actually have a lot of stains under there, so I'm just covering that up. Could be also what I'm doing here with this white rug. I believe this is from Ikea. This chair is from Marshall's Home Goods. This pillow is from Time Los Angeles. You can find them on Instagram. They have super cute stuff. They have a lot of really cute makeup merch and t-shirts and stuff like that and they also have some decor items as well so let me just step back so you guys can see how clean this is like this is I don't know if it can get any better than this I mean I know it can but in my eyes this is damn pretty good I, I'm pretty proud of myself. Just saying. So let's get into these drawers. Actually, I totally forgot about these things. I have videos up on my YouTube opening all these drawers, but 
I have most of my liquid lipstick collection in here. These are actually sets of three drawers that I just stacked on top of each other. And so you buy them separately, like this comes as a section. And I got these off Amazon, I know that for sure. I believe they're about $15 for three drawers. So, I mean, and they're just, they're perfect for fitting liquid lipsticks in them. The Kat Von D and the Huda Beauty are too long, but I've realized that for pretty much any other brand, it has worked. Gerard Cosmetics, Caked, Colourpill. They are acrylic. They're not the best made. They do kind of creak and sometimes get a little stuck, but I mean, for the most part, I love the ease and compatibility they have for lipsticks. Does that even make sense? I'm going to make it make sense. Anastasia. And then this one was also purchased from me. Not from me. For me. By my mom. And I remember we tried to look it up. And it's by the company uh, Joyous, I believe. So in here, I have Too Faced, Hourglass, and then in here, I have more liquid lipsticks. These ones were just kind of overflow and longer ones that wouldn't fit in that type of organizer. The Too Faced lipsticks are getting a little bit out of control but I just love Too Faced so I mean what are you gonna do got my Jouer lip toppers I love these by the way if you haven't tried them they are super pigmented and just so reflective and glittery They're just perfect for the summer so Kat Von D, like I said, they just don't fit. They're too long for these drawers. So they went over in here. Oh shit. Well, that drawer I can't open, but just know that there is some contour kits and some color pop in there. This is actually contact paper. And I purchased it at Walmart. It was like six bucks or something like that. So really can't go wrong. I don't have it attached. I just have it laying on here to use as a background for pictures. And then this was sent to me by Benefit, obviously. And I love it. Hula is my jam. This is my favorite bronzer of all time. And then, I mean, I, I know I'm kind of mixing up brands here, but I'm just putting things where I see fit and where I thought they looked a little aesthetically pleasing. So now let's get into the drawers. I'm just going to basically open them and show you guys what is in them and the organization that has been completed. Dun, 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 dun. So MAC, ColourPop. And so I will tell you right now that most of my drawer organizers are from Sunny Cosmetics. And they also did this lipstick one so you can find them on Instagram and it's Sunny, S-O-N-N-Y, Cosmetics. 
And then in here I have pigments, glitters, some more shadows. And this, this is actually lots of different units. <laughs> I want to say that this is a... Uh, some sort of bathroom organizer from maybe like Bed Bath & Beyond. I'm not quite sure about that one. This one is all lipsticks, as you can see. Hopefully you can tell that. And that is from Sunny Cosmetics. So this is where I keep just kind of some of my fancy lipsticks. Love YSL, if you guys couldn't tell. I also love these NARS Audacious lipsticks. Those are amazing. And so are the Marc Jacobs Beauty, Charlotte Tilbury, of course Chanel, Anastasia, more Chanel, the little baby Tom Fords, the boys and girls collections. And then we got palettes. I tried my best to organize them well. I spent a lot of time just kind of going through all of these, reorganizing everything. Anybody who's been paying attention to my stories on Instagram knows that I went through my makeup collection and tossed out all of the disgusting, icky, old, gross, crusted makeup that I have been holding on to for God knows how long. I have no idea. It's actually kind of scary. Anastasia palettes. I have all of them, including the very first lavish. Love them. I would say Makeup by Mario is probably one of my faves. I did a eyeshadow palette favorites video a few months back if you guys are interested in checking that out. As you can see, I actually hit pan on Lula. It's just a great, not too warm, not too cool brown. So, love that. Chloe, I'm filming. So, yeah, palettes, palettes, palettes. Some OG Too Faced ones before they made them in these containers. I don't know if you guys remember, but they had the cardboard ones and I've just, I've just held on to them. They were some of the first makeup items that I purchased. And so they just, you know, sometimes you keep things for sentimental reasons and those would definitely fit in that category. Let's move on. Oh, and before I forget, I wanted to also let you guys know that these brush holders, not this, this is actually a marble toothbrush holder from Bed Bath & Beyond, but these were made by my dear friend Susie Glitter Madness on Instagram. Definitely check her out. She has some super cute designs. I'm gonna move my contact paper and let's get into these ones. So in here we have nice creaking drawers. And this is kind of where I have my fancier, just limited edition collection stuff. YSL, Dior, Chanel. I have some highlighters and then this one. I just had to have that one. Have some Burberry back here as well. 
that one creaks really bad. Blushes. So I have MAC, Tarte, NARS, and the reason for that is because these are actually my favorite brands of blushes. Say that three times fast. So yeah, I have a lot of them, not gonna lie. The MAC ones, I do have my favorites swatched on an Instagram highlight. If you guys are curious to know my faves, I do have all that on my Instagram. And again, these organizers are all from Sunny Cosmetics. Highlighters. Got Fenty, Kylie, Becca. Of course, Becca Opal is, I can't even open it. It's here, but it's completely shattered. I think I'm going to buy the Breast Cancer Awareness Opal so that that way I'm supporting a cause and I get an opal that's not shattered. Too Faced. Makeup Forever, Anastasia, NARS, and then we got some of Bobbi Brown, and then I promise you there is Jeffree Star back here. His are just too big for these drawer organizers. That is the only reason why they're in the back. Wow. If I could talk, that would be amazing and so helpful for me. Bronzers. These, I believe, are bathroom organizers from um, Bed Bath & Beyond. You know, in the Beyond section. <laughs> I cracked myself up. So, yeah. Bronzers. This is actually from a tanning salon. Matt Give Me Sun, which is a very warm tone bronzer, but it's so good for the summer. Gives you that really sun-kissed look. Back when Victoria's Secret actually did like a full line of makeup, I missed that because their makeup was actually really good. Let's see. Oh, what else we got back here? The Balm, Physician's Formula, the Butter Bronzer. I love this, by the way. Definitely one of my favorite drugstore bronzers that's not going to go back in its home. This video is going to be long. I sure hope you guys are having a snack or maybe even like two meals. So, foundations, again, another organizer from Sunny Cosmetics. This one is specifically for foundations, so obviously, that is what I have in here. So, yeah, we're getting a little, little out of control in the foundation department, and so that is why earlier I showed you that I have the tray of overflow because they just won't all fit in there. I do plan on getting another set of Alex nine drawers. I'm sitting on the ground right now, by the way, just in case you guys were wondering. But as most of you know, I am moving to Arizona. So I'm gonna wait until I get down there. It just doesn't make a whole lot of sense to purchase another Alex nine drawer when I'm going to be moving. So let's get through this really quick so I can get this up for you guys so that I can get the giveaway up tomorrow or Sunday at the latest. So we got Too Faced palettes in there. And then in here I have lip balms I mean strawberry lip smacker and of course I I don't know where I and when I got this but 
The strawberry one is just my favorite. It reminds me of being a teenager. And that was a long ass time ago. So, yeah. This drawer is kind of a hot mess, but I organized it as best as I could. Basically, I have setting stuff and primers. So, prior to makeup and after makeup. Loose powders, primers, I have some shimmer primers, and then some matte primers, so it just, you know, it depends on what you're feeling that day, if you want to be dewy or if you want to be matte. Drugstore, mainly blushes, but not going to lie, there's a few highlighters in here. Victoria's Secret. Ah. I actually used to love this one. It's so beautiful. I mean, maybe you can get it on eBay or something because they are actually really good. Positions formula, hard candy. I got some NYX back here. Milani, the balm. Here I have drugstore eyeshadows. Just got the Physician's Formula one. I also picked up one that is going to be in the giveaway. So yeah, these are all the Milani ones. I actually really do enjoy these. And that's a beautiful color, by the way, too. This is Bella Rouge, in case you're interested. Not that I would send you money. Don't get it twisted. This is concealers slash mascaras and a little bit of brow stuff. Like I said, you guys, it is I'm working with what I got. And this is what I got. So I did the best I could. And trust me, if you know me and have been following me on Instagram, or if you saw my first video of my makeup collection and did this, then I sure hope that you can tell the difference between then and now. This is lashes. If I'm wearing a full makeup look, I am wearing lashes because I have hooded eyes and I just feel like I need them because my lashes suck. They're small and straight and I have no idea how I have so much hair on my head but yet severely lacking in the lashes and brow department. Ace Beauté, they actually are my favorite lashes ever. And then I just picked this one up too. So I'm anxious to try those. They look gorgeous. This is what you're supposed to put your lashes in, like a lash container, to properly store them. But I, I don't. Mine are kind of all over the house. And then I find them on random things like the bottom of a coffee cup or maybe on Romeo's tail. You just you just never know when you're at my house. Gotta watch out for lashes. These are drugstore highlighters. Totally wish I would have filled that little space. That that bothers me quite a lot. So you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna do it together. You and me. We're gonna that's not gonna fit in there. You know what? We're just gonna do this right now. Just for the sake of ah, doesn't that feel better? So these are all drugstore ones minus dose of colors. I just got a lot of highlighters. I love highlighting. That's probably one of my favorite things to put on. And then this. I tried to stick with mainly drugstore on this side and then kept with the fancy stuff in the other drawers. 
So this is more drugstore lipsticks. Again, Organizers by Sunny Cosmetics. Last drawer, you guys. And it's kind of a shit show. But I organized it the best I could. So I have brow products down here. Y'all know Benefit, obviously, is my jam. I love the Precisely My Brow Pencil and the High Brow. I have a backup in here so that when I run up, I can just immediately do that. The Gimme Brow, I use this every day if i'm gonna leave the house all i do is run this through my brows put on a little concealer and some lip balm and that's my no makeup makeup look eyeliners and then just some palettes drugstore palettes ColourPop, mascaras I mean, I think that Great Lash might have been everyone's first mascara. Am I wrong or am I right? I'm usually right. Just kidding. So, yeah. There you have it. I did it. Well, we did it. We did it together. So, there you guys go. I am going to go eat. I have been up here way too long and I am hungry and the dogs are whining so I'm gonna go I'm gonna get this up for you guys and then this weekend the massive giveaway will be going up so in the meantime if you watch this whole thing I appreciate the shit out of you I love you guys so very much and I am going to do my very, very best to be more active and get more content up on a more regular basis. So, I love you guys. Have a good night or morning, if it's morning for you. Definitely getting dark out now here. Love you. Mm -mm.